Hello everyone. I am Divarani Pandrang Babar, working as an assistant professor at AISSMS IOIT Pune. So today, we will see what are the functions of management. Management has been described as a social process involving various kinds of responsibilities for economical and effective planning. So these consisting of various elements and activities. These activities are different from operative functions like marketing, finance, purchase, etc. So rather than these activities are common to each and every manager, manager is irrespective of his level or status. So different experts have classified functions of management. That means according to George and Jerry, there are four fundamental functions of management. That is planning, organizing, actuating and controlling. According to Henry Fayol, to manage is to forecast and plan, to organize, to command and to control. Whereas Luther Guclick has given a keyword post drop where P stands for planning, O for organizing, S for staffing, D for directing, Co for coordination, R for reporting and B for budgeting. But the most widely accepted are functions of management given by Kuntz that is planning, organizing, staffing, directing and controlling. We will see one by one. So planning is the very basic function of management. It deals with checking out a future course of action and deciding in advance the most appropriate course of actions for achievement of predetermined goals. According to Kuntz, planning is deciding in advance. That means what to do, when to do and how to do. So it be bridges the gap from where we are and where we want to be. So a plan is a future course of actions. It is an exercise in problem solving and decision making. Planning is determination of courses of action to achieve desired goals. So planning is very systematic thinking about ways and means for accomplishment of predetermined goals. And also it is very necessary to ensure proper utilization of human and non-human resources. Now, second function is organizing. So organizing is the process of bringing together physical, financial and human resources and developing some productive relationship um, amongst them. So according to Henry Fall, to organize a business is to provide it with everything useful or its functioning. That means raw material, tools, capital. So to organize any kind of a business, it involves determining and providing human and non-human resources to the organizational structures. It involves some identification of activities, classification of grouping of activities, assignment of duties, delegation of authority and creation of responsibility, coordinating authority and responsibility relationships. Next function is staffing. So staffing is one of the function of manning the organization structure and keeping it manned. Staffing has assumed greater importance in the recent years due to advancement of technology and increasing size of business, complexity of human and behavior. So the main purpose of staffing is to put right man on right job. Next function is about directing. So it is part of managerial function which actuates the organizational methods to work efficiently for achievement of organizational purposes. 
so direction has some elements that means supervision motivation leadership and communication now supervision is what it provides some overseeing the work of subordinates by their superiors so it is the act of watching and directing work and workers next element is motivation motivation means inspiring or encouraging the subordinates with zeal to work that means positive negative incentives may be used for this purpose next element is about leadership so leadership may be defined as a process by which manager guides and influences the work of subordinates in desired directions one more element is there that is communication so communication is the process of passing information experience opinion etc from one person to another person that means it is a bridge of understanding and last function of management is about controlling so it implies a measurement of accomplishment against the standards and correction of deviation so the purpose of uh, controlling is to ensure that everything occurs with the standards an efficient system of control helps to predict deviations before they actually occur so according to theo hamann controlling is the process of checking whether or not proper process is being made towards the objectives and goals according to kuntz controlling is the measurement and correction of performance activities of subordinates in order to make sure that the enterprise objectives and plans desired to obtain them as being accomplished or not so controlling has some steps that means establishment of standard performances measurement of actual performance comparison of actual performance with the standards and finding out deviation if any and correct corrective action these are the some steps under the controlling